Coming up are stretches to do after a leg workout in just 10 minutes. If you just got done with a brutal leg workout and want to stretch out those muscles, this video is perfect for you. We're going to be targeting your glutes, your quads, hamstrings, IT bands, and calves. All you need is a mat. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started with a quad stretch. So you can go ahead and hold on to something if you need some help with your balance. If not, go ahead, plant one foot. You're gonna place your foot into your hand. As you bring those knees together, you wanna think about slightly pushing your hip flexor forward so that you feel the full length of your quad, front of the thigh, stretch out. Now you can do a couple things here with your other hand. You can come out here for balance. You can bring it up to the sky maybe even on your nose, apparently that helps. <laughs> so do what works for you. Now we're gonna spend some time holding each move in more static stretches to really lengthen those muscles out. Go ahead and cross that foot, and then you're gonna hinge from those hips, come all the way down, and if you can only come down to about halfway, that's okay. If you can come down all the way down towards the floor, even better. You're gonna feel your IT band uh, basically the band that kind of runs down your thigh on the side, you'll feel that stretch out. It's a really great stretch for pretty much anyone, but especially runners who do a lot of high impact stuff on the pavement. We definitely want to stretch these out so that we don't injure ourselves. Slowly roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and unravel the feet. We'll go ahead other side kick that foot up towards the hand, bring those knees to touch, and actively press that hip flexor forward. So this is a great stretch routine that you can do after any crazy leg workout. Maybe you're feeling particularly sore and you just wanna stretch out everything from the waist down. We got you covered in this routine. Let's go ahead and cross that one over and go ahead and hinge from those hips. Try to come all the way down towards the floor and don't worry if you can't touch your toes. Practice makes perfect. Consistency makes perfect. Consistency makes progress. We shouldn't be aiming for perfection. We know that. Go ahead, slowly roll on up one vertebrae at a time. And let's bring those feet nice and wide here. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. So toes are pointing forward. Hinge from those hips, lead with the chest as you come all the way down towards the floor. Stretching out those hamstrings. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need to, but we do want to try to keep the knees as straight as possible. And with every exhale, try to sink a little bit further down towards the floor. Now from here, you're going to walk your hands over to the right leg. Try to think about pressing your chest towards your knee. And hopefully that helps you lengthen or think about lengthening your torso. And from here, slowly walk those hands over to the other side. Again, pressing that chest toward your knee. From here, slowly come back through center. And I want you to just kind of wiggle your hips side to side, getting into the deep pockets of your hip crevices. This can feel really hard if you're really tight, but this is something that you definitely want to work on if you are tight. Just go inside to side here. All right, and when you are ready, let's go down and take a seat. We'll go into a uh, a hamstring stretch again, but we'll start with our right foot tucked in. So make sure the knee is pointing out and you're sitting on your sit bones. Flex the left toes towards your nose and square off those shoulders. Reach your hands nice and tall towards the sky and hinge forward as far down as you can. Now again, if you can only grab here, that's okay. If you can grab your ankle, even better, or maybe even wrap your hands around your shoe, your foot, you can do that too. Again, try to focus on lengthening your spine instead of rounding. And from here, let's go ahead, cross that foot over. So right foot over, left knee, 
hug that knee in towards the chest and go ahead, eyes gaze back. You'll feel the stretch along the glutes, but also you're getting a really good spinal stretch too, because why not? Feels really, really good. Now from here, let's go ahead and release that foot and we're gonna go into a figure four glute stretch. So just cross it over, hands back behind, and then press the chest towards the shin. Keep the foot flexed, the top foot flexed, and that's gonna help protect your knee joint. Just open up that chest as much as possible. And when you're ready, let's go ahead, switch. We'll do the same thing. So extend that right leg in front. Bring the left knee out to the side, square those shoulder blades, or those shoulders rather, towards the toe. Inhale, hands up, and fold it down. Try not to resist or fight the stretch. Really think about surrendering into the stretch. You shouldn't push yourself into the stretch. Really use your breath to just kind of release, kind of meld into it. Now from here, we'll do that cross body stretch. So cross it over, hug that knee into the chest, lift up through your spine, and then eyes gaze back. All right, from here. Let's go into that figure four glute stretch. So hands back behind, lean back, press the chest towards the shin. All right, let's go ahead, slowly release. We'll take a butterfly stretch, really getting deep into those hips. So soles of the feet touch, knees wide. We all know this, this move. Now in this move, it's totally okay to round the spine if you'd like. And so just release it down. All right, and we'll make our way down towards our back. Nice and easy here. Bring those knees to touch. Uh, give yourself a nice hug. Hip flexors are stretching out right here. Let's go ahead and hold on to the right knee as we extend the left foot down. Grab the back of your thigh and take a hamstring stretch. Now go ahead and point and flex the toe to get a little bit more into the calves and maybe make some ankle circles around clockwise and counterclockwise. Good, from here, bring that knee in and let's go ahead and take a cross body stretch here. Just stretching out the spine, but you'll also feel those glutes stretch out. Keep the shoulder grounded on the floor. And let's go ahead and switch. Hug the left knee into the chest, stretching out this hip flexor. And let's go ahead, grab the back of the thigh. Go ahead, point and flex. And then maybe make some circles, ankle circles around, clockwise and counterclockwise. Go ahead and tuck that knee in again and take that spinal stretch. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and come back to our hugging position. Hug the no knees in and go back into your wide-legged forward fold. One final stretch here. Bend into those knees nice and deep. And then slowly roll on up, one vertebra at a time, head comes up last. 
You did it. I hope you were feeling so much better than when you started. If you did, please like and comment below and let me know how this routine went for you. You can always come back to this at any point whenever you are struggling to feel your legs after a leg workout or if you just need a nice active recovery day. Make sure to subscribe so that you can get notified every single time I post a new workout video. And if you want a free quick start guide, I do have one below to help you learn some helpful tips for your health, your nutrition, and your overall lifestyle. So please go ahead and grab that down below. And as always, claim your crown.